is Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. I'm bringing you my first update for the Fall For You project pan that Claire started here on YouTube. Now I am filming this on September 10th, so just keep that in mind that that's what this pro this uh, the products and everything. It's going to be about three weeks of use, but this is going to go up on time. But I promise you, after that, everything is going to be a okay. I just wanted you guys to to just know, okay, to just know. I'm gonna get into my empties, and yes, of course there are empties. I know you guys are shocked, right? It's like some project pans I do really well in and some just suck, but this one I'm doing really well in. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is my MAC foundation. I know you can't really tell, but um, it's empty. Um, so yeah, it's empty. I know that I could go ahead and scrape the sides and everything, uh, but my little scraper guy is packed away. So I am considering this done because yeah, whenever I scrape out the sides, it's only gonna give me like one or two uses. So yep, that is done. And I would definitely 100% repurchase that. It's not even a question. The next one that is done is this Coach Poppy. Uh, rollerball completely done and I would not purchase it I used to love this but this is a good everyday perfume but it's just not after using it it's just not my thing anymore but I did used to love that the next one I'm really sad about is the verb leave in mist I was right there and I finished it the pump ended up kind of breaking and I don't know why it just wouldn't pump anymore so I had to actually open it up and put some in my hand and then use it that way and I was going to repurchase this but it went up two dollars and I don't know why um it's kind of confusing to me because now it's sixteen dollars so I would absolutely repurchase this I'm just really on the fence about spending $16 for something that goes this fast. So maybe at the VIB sale, I'll go ahead and, and get this. But other than that, no, I know that's kind of silly, but I mean, I do love this and this made a big difference in my hair. The next one is uh, this mini of my Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Primer. And this was just a little guy, just 0.2 ounce, ounces, and I did finish it. This used to be my Holy Grail uh, primer, and now it is wow. not, considering I have the Laura Geller one now, which I absolutely love. And then the ones that I have use on. This is the Philosophy, the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash. I was right here last time, and now I'm right here, so next update, this should 100% be gone. I had to obviously turn it upside down because, yeah. And obviously the barking that you hear, I think I accidentally shut my dog up in a room. I'll take care of him in a minute. This next one is the Mario Badescu Alpha Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion. And I was right here last time and now I am about right there. Oh, I guess it's a little bit lower, huh? Nah, whenever it settles, it's about right there. So, again, next update, it should be gone. So, I guess we'll see. And then, uh, next is my Brickle Lip Balm. I just went ahead and rolled it up for you guys. Uh, since it's so hard to roll up and roll back down. And just ignore the other marks. But that is where I was last time. And this is where I am now. So, I'm making some progress on this. I'm really hoping that this gets done in this project because I've never done, I've never completed a lip balm before and this is really, really, really getting frustrating to use. But anyway, this next one comes from my MAC palette and the Burgundy Times 9 palette and I went with the shade Poppy Seed, which is right here. I don't think I had pan the last time. No, I did not have pan pretty sure but um, in any case I did go ahead and expand the pan on this and my goal is to use this up so uh, yeah it's I mean it's getting there it's getting there and then my last item is from my Too Fates 
that was upside down is from my Too Faced chocolate bar palette and I was working on this shade right here champagne truffle I've been kind of working towards this corner right here let's see if you could see a dip not sure if you could see that dip right there I was kind of just putting my brush wherever and then Jessica uh, from Beauty and Baseball said that I should just concentrate my brush into a corner and so I just started to do that otherwise I would never hit pan and that's my goal so I am concentrating right there I'm putting it on my the inner corner so I shouldn't have any problem at all at least hitting pan in this so that is it. That is my update for fall for you. Uh, I hope that you go ahead and uh, check out everybody. And I'm going to go save my dog from being stuck in a room. So I will see you later. Bye.